What's up, Star Wars fans? This is Darth Watson. In this video, we're going to be going over some stuff about George Lucas's vision of the sequel trilogy and how Ryan Johnson took up the most inspiration from George Lucas's sequel trilogy outlines. Now, it all starts with the concept art of Luke Skywalker, an older exiled Luke Skywalker haunted by the betrayal of one of his students. Ryan Johnson took a took did a really good job pulling that off within The Last Jedi, where Rey convinces Luke Skywalker out of his depression. But the original plot of Episode 7 is where Rey would find Luke Skywalker and convince him out of his depression by the end of Episode 7. But that obviously changed where the ending of Episode 7 ended up be being Rey finding Luke Skywalker, and that was pretty much about it. And with J.J. Abrams direct, directing, he would like he likes to leave a bunch of open like a bunch of a, a bunch of open speculation throughout the film, like a bunch of plot holes and everything, like basically a lot of mystery boxes that J.J. Abrams set in The Force Awakens, which led to way too many speculation on who Snoke was and everything and. Originally, Snoke was supposed to be a woman. Originally, Snoke was supposed to be Dark Talon, which Dark Talon was, in George Lucas's sequel trilogy outlines, would seduce Han and Leia's son to the dark side. Now, I know in George Lucas's early ideas for the sequel trilogy, where he had plans to make Maul the main villain, but that obviously changed when George Lucas decided to decided to make an older exile Luke Skywalker in his depression. Originally, Luke Skywalker was supposed to rebuild the Jedi Order by the end of the sequel trilogy, and the sequel trilogy being about bringing the galaxy together after the fall of the Empire, getting the galaxy under control from the gangsters. But George Lucas changed his mind after the backlash on the prequels and decided to create an older exiled Luke Skywalker haunted by the betrayal of one of his one of his apprentices which is known as the Jedi Killer, which Kylo Ren takes up inspiration from the Jedi Killer, which is Han and Leia's son. That was the official decision made by George Lucas. Also, Pablo Hidalgo confirmed a few years ago that uh, Episode 7 and 8 in George Lucas's sequel trilogy outlines also had Han and Luke dying in it. So, Luke was originally supposed to die in Episode 8 in George Lucas's original trilogy outline. George Lucas's original sequel trilogy outline said he sold to Disney. George Lucas's sequel trilogy outlines also had Luke Skywalker dying in Episode 8. Pablo Hidalgo confirmed that a few years ago. And, but that was his latest ideas for the sequel trilogy before he sold to Disney, but that doesn't mean that that was always George Lucas's plan for Luke Skywalker to die in Episode 8. It's already proven that that's not the case with George Lucas's early ideas that was found in the Star Wars Archives book where it talks about Darth Maul and Dark Talon being the main villains of George Lucas's sequel trilogy. But Ryan Johnson took up the most inspiration from what George Lucas wanted to do with the sequel trilogy treatment, and furthermore, George Lucas commented on The Last Jedi and called it beautifully made. So whether you like The Last Jedi or not, The Last Jedi took up the most inspiration from George Lucas's sequel trilogy outlines. It really did a outstanding job, and George Lucas was actually impressed with The Last Jedi. But anyways, that's all I have to say for this video. Do make sure to smash a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all later in another video.